Alright, so I wanted to make video 2.0 of what I'm currently carrying in my snowmobile. Uh, this is in the back of a Skidoo Summit 154. My bag takes up two link spots. So the gear that I carry, a uh, little fuel transfer, little ball valve in it, someone runs out of fuel. I like the BCA shovel, this works fantastic. You can use it as a shovel. You can also use it as a pickaxe, like this, and in the end of the shovel is a spare saw, which doesn't work awesome, but it's a good backup. I always carry a spare pair of mittens at the end of the day, coming home, sometimes that helps. And I usually carry a spare pair of gloves as well, but they're not in here because they were drying. Uh, for food, I've been using, uh, it's good to go. Put a little bit of water in here. Uh, I can boil a cup of water in two minutes. This is the jet boil. Pretty cool how this works. A little gas unit, a little flame, it goes right on top and it locks in. Alright, so that's what the jet boil looks like all assembled. It's been working out great. Water. Hot meal in the woods is always nice. Go over the tools that I've been carrying. Set of pliers, it's nice to just reach something, needle nose, drop apart, take the sled apart. That's the torx bit that we need. A pair of adjustable. This typically gets used as a pry bar. Got a set of wrenches in here. This has been working out really great for us. This is a hand powered chainsaw. Great with one person, but even better with two. When you push and pull, it cuts a lot faster. Got real specific tools in here for our sleds, Phillips bit, regular bit, Torx bit, and a basic ratchet. And this is a really cool tool added uh, last year. Helps you get into those uh, tight, hard to reach spots. You can take a Phillips bit or a, a, a ratchet drive on the other side. Hatchet, if you believe I made that carrying case, I'll be taking orders. Ski rubber, a little piece of rope, zip ties, a little bit of tape, and inside a foil blanket. This is my ski toe kit. I made this years ago, but they sell them on Amazon now. This goes around the ski and locks on. And then this strap comes around here and gets hooked back to the machine, so it's a little easier to tow someone. It won't pull the skis together and ruin your alignment. It's where I keep all my electronics, the stuff that I want waterproof. This is a cool little device, solar charging on one side. It's got um, induction charging on this side, and it uh, is a light also on that side. It's kind of nice to have. In reach, if you had one thing in the bag, this is probably the most important. This is an SOS device, works anywhere in the world, and it's uh, only about uh, 10, 11 bucks a month subscription. Waterproof matches, candle, flashlight, backup batteries for the flashlight, a knife, and uh, for the iPhone, spare charging device. The uh, emergency kit here that I made up, I made up myself, salt and pepper, got um, pain relieving antibacterial spray, we got some marker, we got uh, CPR face shield, Band-Aids, Neosporin, we got some Ace Wrap, some more gauze, marker, fire starter, a couple more space blankets, gloves, TP, protein bars, a little more gauze, Advil, hand warmers, some tape, and in here, we got scissors, tweezers, some band-aids, and some uh, alcohol prep pads. So, there we go. That's what I keep in my pack. Good luck to you out there. Be safe. Hopefully, I don't have to use all this stuff. Hopefully, I don't have to use 90% of this stuff, but just in case, we got it.